I being a person who is blessed with the opportunity to deal with uh, students as well as faculties from the remotest corner of the country with literally no proper facility for learning to a very high standard of urban background with facility beyond imagination for many students. This is a fact today. Therefore, I consider myself exposed to different standards of teaching. I have divided into three different groups the teaching faculties. The teachers who are beginners, <coughs> most of them, when I use the word beginners, are pastimers. They come to the schools just because they could manage to get in the school or the school manages to get them inside because their children are studying there. Either way, this is the phenomena which prevails in entire India. I don't know about other Asian countries, but definitely about India, where mothers who have four or five hours free time, they become teachers. I consider them, they are qualified, no doubt, they must be having some graduation certificates with them, but they are the teachers who are considered as only beginner. The second group is teachers having experience of two to three years, not trained at all in teaching. So they do not understand anything about education. But they have something in them that is passion. They came really forward to learn. So these people over a period of learning with good mentorship from their principals, they do pick up and they, at a latter stage, they become useful for us. And in Bob's language, if I tell, the training is imparted in the University of Leicestershire to ensure that the employability, it is not mere the certificate of education, ultimately the skill that matters. And exactly that I mean here. Because these are the people, their skill is developed at a later stage. And the third is the teachers who are trained and well experienced and who are really doing good job. And whatever good stuff is produced today in the country, it is these people who are doing it. In my point of view, a teacher is someone who makes difference in the life of a student. A teacher need not be brilliant, need not be rich, need not be handsome or gorgeous or full of perfection. A teacher need to be the one who touches the life of the student by their attitude of caring, loving, supporting and guiding. Because this is one point where teachers have to understand that the qualification, even they have a little less one, or even their subject knowledge is a little poor, as in the colleges our professors used to do, prepare in the night, come for the session next day morning, nothing wrong for it. Let's not feel that because I have become a teacher, so I am not uh, going to learn anything today because they are school children. Tomorrow I will just uh, teach them whatever I like, or if there is a mistake, I leave them or leave them to the parents to rectify it. So that attitude has to go Instead, a teacher who is more loving and caring is more important. Our uh, Sanskrit language, there is a proverb, Marajala Kishore Nyayam and uh, Markata Kishore Nyayam. What is Marajala? Marajala is cat. Kishore Nyayam. What kind of justice uh, the cat does to its uh, kittens? It gives birth to seven and eight of them. And what kind of justice monkey will do to its uh, you know, child. See, there you see, monkey we call market and cat we call marjala. Now I will tell you what monkey does. Monkey expects the child to hold him and he takes him from one branch of the tree to another. The risk is with the child. If it misses to hold, it will fall and die. So monkey can never be a leader. It's the cat that caused the shot. It picks up with its teeth the kitten and takes to the safe zone. And it does this seven to eight houses or seven to eight places. It will shift its kittens to ensure that they are safely there. So Marjala behaves like God. A true leader, an impartial person. All the seven or eight children it gives birth, it takes care. Now, so a leader is not somebody who is walking and people come behind. I just don't believe that leader will be successful. A leader is the one who stands back and sees the team go front and enjoys it. So if there is a different type of education we have to pour in into children. See, in the school and the colleges where we are sitting with our students, I see somebody comes, this is the board, 
smart boards nowadays. And everything is smart there. I do not understand if everything is smart, why it takes 70 years to only produce 2.5 crores Indians to rule the world abroad? 70 years? Whereas Bill Gates sitting at USA could give uh, Bush Jr. a reply recently. Bush was asking him, that why the hell you are employing Indians? He says, Mr. Former President, before you further uh, you know, get angry on me, you please listen to me a little carefully. If I would have not employed these Indians here, they would have made 20 Microsoft companies in India itself. That is their capacity. So what did we do? We ensure that they are content with whatever 4 lakh, 5 lakhs per month we are giving in Indian review. They are happy go-getters. They do not want to disturb either America. I don't want to make it in India anything great. So the skill was there always for asking. It was not that the skill was not there. If Bob is speaking from a, a UK perspective today from research Air University, I feel only Sasrikalji to see Chakado Phatako. I feel from that angle. Because ultimately, what are we talking about is a global citizen. Now the time has come. The global citizen, you cannot prepare just by, you know, telling that, look, it's a global metaphor. We have a smart board. We have, you know, smartphone. I saw in one school recently, and uh, students are next year reducing there now. I don't want to name them. <clears throat> they are giving the children only I got. They said no books are required. Then why God has given us fingers? <clears throat> what for these fingers are required? So no writing is required. So tomorrow you will say ears are not required because I'll put a plug here. Now this is not education. Education is where all your five sense organs are involved along with your full structure of the body. <clears throat> the brain is given to process it. So a global citizen can only be identified or prepared the teacher is the representative of the society who inculcates more perception in the development of a country, which is possible by giving great attention to the student community. Nobody is more equipped to assist in this process other than the teacher. Without teachers, both knowledge, morals, development of leadership will suffer badly. And it is very easy to talk these blah blah words which I am using and every one of us talk about moral values and moral values. India is a country of vast opportunities especially in the academic sector. Especially very, very talented people are living in our villages. All the front ventures in every institute world over, front ventures, academic experts there, they have never been chairmen, they are only CEOs. And all the bad ventures became CEOs of the world company, I mean chairmen of the world company. Take Bill Gates, what is he? What is his qualification? You take Abraham Lincoln, what is his qualification? You take anywhere, you take Washington, George II, you take any top man in the world, you will find all these so-called academic relevance comes to an end when they cannot create leadership. The leadership will only come when you are able to punch them little bit in their abdomen and one or two blows here of Cassius Clay punch and then you see the guys coming like Narendra Modi on the top of the same British Empire standing and getting the applause from the Prime Minister of uh, Britain. No other personality can have influence more profound than that of a character teacher. Students are deeply affected by the teacher's love, affection, character, competency and commitment. A popular teacher becomes a role model for a student. Students try to follow their teacher in his manner, customs, etiquette, style of conversation, his get up, he is their idol. But the same teacher, if it, otherwise it happens, what happens? During their education, the students tend to determine their aims in life and their future plans in consultation with their mentor. And mentor, mentor means you should be Pullela Gobichand. Eh? And surprisingly, I will pick up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight men are here. Nine. Fully dominated by women. Look at here. What is happening in the world over, it is the woman who is taking the responsibility of multitasking. Men are only calling themselves focused and they always believe that my kar sakta hon, my kara sakta hon Men believe that I can do it, but they forget it. 
that they need not do it, they have to get it done. That is their task. This get it done and I can do it, both have been taken over by women now. And no one can be a better teacher than women because you have that motherly affection. You will not differentiate between two children. So there is an added advantage. But what happens when a teacher is incompetent? It complicates the whole situation. And it creates a nation which generation to generation it gets spoiled. So where is the question of bringing him a leadership when the mentor itself gone wrong? So next session when we have, I will suggest you, our friends in ICAE, that let us have a mental development session so that mentors will develop the better leaders. Because mentors are where the entire problem lies. They are like this bamboo. They don't want to go this side. They, don't. they say, I am learned. See, I know. See, I went to Canada. I was called to England. I was called every... So many awards I am having, you know. See, this list of awards is so much. And then you are telling me, I am not a good mentor. I am drawing one and a half lakh salary in Indian perspective. I have a car. I am one of the best international schools principal. And in leadership, drive the people. Drive the people. And leader is not the one who sits back and says, that my my a very leader. What do I do? fit for nothing. But the real leader is coming from the scratch. So the mentorship is very, very important factor. And if we go wrong there, everything goes wrong. Teachers there, therefore have to play a cardinal role in the building up of the character of the next generation. It is a fact that a civilization cannot rise out of a skeleton of mere ideas and abstract concepts. Civilization finds a concrete shape in the practical behavior of a nation based on these principles and concept. Once the practical aspect is gone, the civilization also disappears and can only be studied through its remains preserved in Mohanjodoro and Harappa in museums and chronicles. Let's not talk about long ago there lived a king. Let us talk about the king who is ruling today. So a leader has to call a shot today. A leadership has to be developed today. That is the demand of the time. The necessity, the provision of a learning atmosphere throbbing with life in our education through the presence of the teacher with a view to infuse confidence in our student and to enable them to be proud of their culture, to respect their national character and national emblems and to ornament themselves with societal conduct and moral, thus paving way for leadership qualities. They should stand firm on the century-old foundation of their culture. The day you remove equity and justice from Britain, Britain will collapse. The day you remove the individual freedom from the United States of America, it will collapse. The day you remove the political strength of uh, France, it will collapse. The day you remove the India spiritualism, no religionism I am talking. I am not for religions. I am talking about spiritualism. Spiritualism has nothing to do with do's and don'ts of any religion. It is the strength of this core country. In the teaching itself, we are not there. But in Mauritius, it is there. I went to Mauritius. I was so proud to address the Mauritius University. I was feeling so proud because they are talking about our parables, which we are not even discussing in our schools. We still have the same parables, which Bob, me, and maybe our general. I am 63. Bob, how, how old are you? 43. 43. So 20 years gap. Still power, power, black sheep, heavy, uni, wool. We are still continuing with the time. Ma'am, really I'm feeling and laughing because no English author also invented a new one and children didn't learn further. So something lacking in the curriculum preparation itself is something lacking the understanding of the smartphone system. In Android also they should use Baba Black Sheep. Why they don't bring something Apple Apple? Steve was very correct. I, I didn't show, bring that video because Steve, when he addressed the Harvard University recently, I mean before his uh, departure, it was one of the best addresses. He gave three examples of his life. You should hear that. And again, he is a dropout of university. He is a college dropout. Leaders are made by the situation in which they are placed. And it is very important that the teaching strategy should evolve around that. Books thick, anybody can read it. Please understand, something is born from nothing. And from something, from something, everything comes out. I repeat here, something is born from nothing, and from something, everything comes out. If we have not come here today, and we would have not met each other today, perhaps we would have not passed a few resolutions in our own minds, which we may not deliver outside, but ultimately it will be our, our resolve to take things forward. How to do next things better? How do we go? 
And once something comes out, be sure that something can do some miracles. Teachers are those who can see the invisible and can accomplish the impossible. Teachers' confidence is in believing what others cannot see or others cannot believe. The reward of confidence is to see what you believe. Teachers and taught is not different from each other. They are like sun in its rays. Suri Kiran. You cannot separate them. If teacher is sun, the rays is student. Think of milk for a while and try to recollect in your mind the process of extracting butter from milk. I am exactly talking about finding out the leaders. You are extracting butter from milk, not from curd. Please. Not from curd. Please go to the milk, the original product, at the original shape and then start. The potential exists in the student in the form of butter. It's hidden in the milk. It is the teacher who unravels the hidden potential. No one else can do that. Every human being has got a different skull. Means inside there is a different brain. And every tongue has got a different taste. And this, the day teaching recognizes in the student, at the first seven to eight years, they have done their job. It is not that 100 marks that is matters there. And those 100 marks, now I see in many schools, they have separated all 100 marks guys in one classroom and 40 marks like students like me. I don't know others. I am not that great student. In my days, I was always out of the classroom, less in the classroom. But my job was to get that 45, 50 pass marks. But we became more country than those guys who were getting 100 marks. Still, they are working and struggling. Long back, we quit our assignment of earning money because in 10, 20 years, we earn enough than what we can earn. They are earning in lifetime. See, the very concept of student understanding has to come from the taste factor. What he likes to have in his life. Every human born in planet Earth has inborn potential, which is different from his other fellow beings. This potential is not known to the one who has it and it is unknown to even those who gave them the passage to the planet earth. This is something you must remember. I took this from Gita. Unless you are a practitioner and a practitioner of discovery of talent, it's a new practitioner you have to evolve now. A practitioner of discovery of a talent inside the other man. These potentials are unraveled by a teacher, not by parents. Please don't blame the parents because this is not the parents' job. Parents cannot discover the talent in their children. They can only at best support what the talent the child has got. As the student keeps uh, growing to his teenage, teachers get to know the following. Student's talent is moving towards which direction? Understanding, expression, conversation, answering his questions. I mean engaging him. Providing requisite support, study material, Encouraging rewards and that rewards are not always in the form of a you know certificate or a big applause or something. A reward is you just take him, hug him. You love him, you tell him you are the best guy. I never saw. Or walk into his parents' place and praise him in front of the parent because all teachers send a list of complaints. They never send anything else to the parents. Once the student's age grows, he starts getting connected with his original nature and starts coming out of the process of duplication. Here his mindset starts alerting its direction and discover its new path. He exhibits his leadership qualities and builds his new taste and starts moving towards the new path. The issue is never lack of potential, but lack of direction. Goal provides that. Gross human potential is diluted when they do not know what to do with their potential. The teachers provide the required power in the student. Tomorrow of the student is in your hand by strengthening his today. If you are not going to strengthen his today, he will never make it today, tomorrow. Powerful tomorrow is created by the power of the goals the students set for themselves with the support of the teacher. What are the important points to be dealt by the teacher while guiding the student to reach his set goal? The worst enemy of any student is fear. See, the fear is something you have to face frequently. The next one is consistency. And that's nothing else now. Show the PV Sindhu now. And show the Sakshi. 
that these girls could do it, why you boys can't do it, put the boys separately, put the girls separately. And girls classes, you tell them, look girls, you are better than the boys. And tell the boys, see if girls are doing better, what is that you are doing? Your work is done. The talent will come out. No, I am telling you, I am going to make this video and send it to the school, say please do it like this. Because you have to ultimately bring the best out of them. And consistency in performance. Mindset. Every student's most precious sense is mindset. It is an attitude and a plan of action. Fortunes are made in human mind. First, therefore, the mind of the student is this ultimate personal computer. If he instructs his mind to select a program that is his goal, automatically leads to fulfillment of his dream. Abhyasa yoga ha. Practice alone can make you perfect. As you think, so you are. Yad bhavam tad bhauti. Whatever the mind of the man conceives, he ultimately gets it done. Superb. Look at this. Two doctrines are one. The third one he says, the process is thought, word and deed. Not deed, word and thought. Thought, word and deed. Manasa, vacha, karma. Extraordinary. This is the best way to nurture the talent.